As we've previously discussed, the first law of thermodynamics tells us that the only two ways to change the internal energy of a closed thermodynamic system are through heat and work. When energy is transferred into an ideal gas system, whether by work or heat, the energy is all used to increase the thermal motions of the atoms and molecules. The three categories of thermal motion are translational, rotational, and vibrational motion. Different gases access different numbers of modes of motion in these three categories. And each such mode of motion is an independent way of storing energy. In translational motion, an object shifts its position in three-dimensional space. All atoms and molecules have exactly three translational modes of motion corresponding to movement along the x, y, and z axes. In the case of monoatomic gases such as helium or argon, these are the only modes of motion that can be used to store energy. But molecular gases, which consist of two or more atoms connected by covalent bonds, can also store energy as rotational motion. The number of rotational modes available to a molecule for storing energy depends on its geometry. Linear molecules have two rotational modes, while nonlinear molecules have three rotational modes. These animations illustrate the reason for the difference between linear and nonlinear molecular gases. This animation shows the three rotational modes of motion for water, a nonlinear molecule. These include rotation about the x axis, the y axis, and the z axis. In all three of these rotational modes, we see the atoms changing position, and so all three modes are useful for storing energy. This video shows the rotational modes for carbon dioxide, a linear molecule. Once again, we see rotation about the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. However, in this case, rotation about the x-axis does not change the position of the atoms. So while rotation about the y and z-axis are both useful for storing energy, rotation about the x-axis is not useful for storing energy. Thus, for linear molecules, there are only two rotational modes that can be used to store energy. This table summarizes the total number of translational and rotational modes of motion available to different types of gases for storing energy. For monoatomic gases, there are three such modes. For linear gases, there are five such modes. And for nonlinear gases, there are six such modes. In the third category of motion, which is vibrational motion, covalent bonds either stretch or bend. Here we see the three vibrational modes of motion available to water vapor. For many molecules, including water, vibrational motion is primarily restricted to high temperatures. And so at low or moderate temperatures, it's often okay to ignore vibrational motion. 